So welcome back to another shop tour. It's April, we've been working hard. Uh, it's pretty much spring and uh, we're getting a lot of these boats almost finished up and we're gonna share that with you today. So we have the 1930 Chris Craft Triple Cockpit. We are just a couple coats away from our final coats. The artist came in and he put Chris Craft on the sides just like it was from the factory. Now this is aluminum leaf. A lot of people think that this was gold leaf from the factory and it wasn't. It was aluminum leaf or silver leaf, but if you put silver on here, it'll tarnish. So it was aluminum leaf with black outline would be correct for this boat. He put the name on the back as well. And uh, we're just getting the interior pieces painted and uh, we'll, then we'll be ready to assemble the boat. So like I said, the artist was here and now this boat is named Legacy. Uh, we don't know what the boat was named in the past um, and the owner wanted the boat to be named Legacy because his dad owned this boat many, many years ago. And so uh, if you noticed, this is a shadow. So it's, it's not a drop shade. A drop shade would be black and it would be following the outside of it. This is a shadow and I'm not sure who else does this? But this was kind of uh, Dan, the artist, and me came together and decided to do this years ago. And this is basically just like a mahogany colored paint with black in it. And he did the outline just on the side and behind. So it really looks like it's standing off. And I, I think it's amazing. I think it's a uh, a really cool look when you're doing script lettering like this. The uh, U-22, this is all done. We've got some touches up on the water line. We've got to paint the bottom. Uh, we're waiting for the engine and then we're waiting for one gauge. The engine rebuilder, Peter Hinkle, he is in final assembly on the engine. So we're expecting that probably in the next month. Uh, for that and then we can put this thing all together and get it delivered to the customer. It's turned out really good. This was a basically what we call a two-stage restoration where we would do part of it one year and then the rest of it next. And so last year we did the bottom on this, new 5200 bottom, and uh, we did the sides. And then this year we did the decks and the interior and the engine. So. Some customers like us to piece it up like that. That way they can use their boat and we're flexible. It really doesn't matter to us. We've got plenty of work um, and it helps out the customers so they can use their boat. So we have Lindy Sue, the 17 foot sportsman. It has a new bottom and it is completely assembled. 
Now we just need to wait to get some room here and move some things around so we can get it to the door and then run it for the first time of the season and make sure that everything runs, works and functions for the new owner. And then that will go back on its trailer and be gone to the customer. The 25 foot sportsman, uh, we have been picking away and I think I say this almost every time, but we're in our final sanding, which we are. We had to build the dash and the dash wraps around this whole front portion here. And so that was a little bit difficult. We don't know what plywood they used. I, I've heard terms of wiggle wood before in plywood where you could actually bend plywood around. And that may have been what they used on this, but uh, we don't have that. So we basically made our own plywood up uh, and bent it around the dash and epoxied it together and then built the dash out of that. So that's complete now and shaped. Uh, we're, like I say, on our final sand, and hopefully in the next couple weeks we can get color on this and get it protected, and then we can start putting the engines in. So, um, yeah, wait for that. We'll definitely film that and share that with you, the engines going in the Sportsman. So we have the 1937 Deluxe Runabout. It's coming along great. Um, Kelly replaced the inside combing boards. They, on that one side, they were really rotten. And in the back uh, on this boat, they were rotten as well. Uh, the dash had extra holes in it. So we replaced the dash on that. And Zach did a fantastic job on that. We still got a little bit of ways to go on that one. Um, and then uh, we're going to rebuild the hatches next week and get that squared away. Basically, then just work forward. It's The construction's almost done. We do need to fair out these pieces and get it all nice and fair. And then we can start working on the decks. And so hopefully, uh, in the next week or two, we can start on the decks and get the decks put on here. And then uh, we can finalize putting the side plank on, getting the decks on, gluing them all down, button this thing up, and we're into final sanding on this one. So it's going to be a beautiful boat. I mean, the tumble home, the curve of these decks on these older ones are just really beautiful. And so we're pretty excited about it. It's, uh, it we're not doing it for a show boat or what people would call a trailer queen, which I don't really agree with that term, but, uh, because I don't know anybody that just keeps their boat on the trailer. Um, but this will be at like one of the Hassel shows and that kind of stuff. And just an all around ex awesome example of a 37 foot deluxe, how it left the factory. So the 18 foot Riviera, uh, the side planks are all on, glued, screwed, ready to go. Uh, they've been working on fairing the hull. That's pretty much all complete. Uh, we do that while it's upside down because it's much easier to sand this way than it is when it's right side up and you're at a different angle. That's very difficult. So we feel that we get a better job of fairing the hull when it's upside down. We hope to turn this over in the next few days. Um, and then we can start on the interior and the deck replacement if needed uh, and go through this for a full restoration. This um, has a blonde deck to it, so we'll replace the deck and then 
We've got a little bit of uh, bleaching to do and staining the blonde, but um, this is going to be a beautiful boat. I mean, the 18 foot uh, Rivieras are definitely a gorgeous boat with the blonde and the mahogany decks on them. So very popular, very nice boat, great running boat. So hopefully you enjoyed that shop tour. Uh, we're getting a lot of stuff done in here, like I said, and uh, we're trying to get all that done before the rush for spring, So, which is right around the corner. We are doing the tech tips, and if you have any idea for tech tips, leave it in the comment below and maybe we can get to that. Hit the like button, and we will see you back here. Bye.